Jesus. Guys, I'm losing my mind. I thought I, I, I don't have glass. And then I went to my fridge and opened up the fridge. There's no glass. <laughs> it's, it's fine, dear. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, from the Ruski Brewski Review. And today, the beer that I have for you guys. Like I said, I thought I've done this one before. Apparently, I haven't, going through my old videos. And we have, from Cameron's Brewing Co., out in Oakville, Ontario, we have their 12 Mile IPL, India Pale Lager, coming in at 5.2% alcohols by volume and 40 IBUs listed here on the can. Looking pretty good. You got a little bit of like, I don't know what kind of design you call that, but you got some woods. You got a little, uh, what's that, deer? Deer? Yeah, a deer on there. Didn't know if it was a deer or an elk. <clears throat> Looking pretty damn snazzy. So yeah, let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. Sweet. And pouring it into my fixed gear brewing. Uh, oh, this one's this one's coming up a little bit too. It's getting a little excited. Hopefully, hopefully it hasn't gone bad. See if there's a canned on date. Tell you in a bit if I saw anything. Who knows? Uh, but looking at the beer itself, nice orangey, not orangey, nice like solid orange yellow color. It's a little bit of haze on there too. You can kind of see the ring light through it, but not too much. Nice off-white head as well. Looking pretty good. You wouldn't tell that it's a lager, but it is an India Pale Lager, so slightly different. Let's have a smell. Mm. On the nose. Beautiful. Beautiful fresh pine and grapefruit. Damn, that smells refreshing. A bunch of citrus. Oranges. Orange bolts of zest, rind, and juice. A little bit of like a dried mango. Mm-hmm. A little bit of grassy as well. Yeah, a little bit of grassy as well on the back. Like fresh grass. Not fresh cut grass, but just fresh grass. Pretty good stuff. Let's have a sip. On the sip. Wow. Um, hmm. Ooh, where do I start? Ooh. I haven't had an IPL in, in quite some time, so this is a nice little change of pace. Where was I? Um, little piney, little grapefruity, melons, cucumbers, and then you get your traditional lagery uh, sort of l little light caramel, a little bit of bready um, <clears throat> finish to it. So far, so damn good. So with that said, guys, cheers, everybody. Uh, let's keep on drinking. Mmm. Ooh, that is good. Yeah. Piney, grapefruity in the beginning, a little grassy. Again, a lot, lot, lot of that citrus going on, a little bit of the orange. Not, mm, yeah, orange juice. Uh, lo losing a little bit of the zest, a little bit more of the rind. <clears throat> and then a little bit of a melon and cucumber-esque character. Yeah, just a sweet melon. Yeah, a little bit of a little bit of a cucumber refreshingness to it as well. And then again, on the end, on the tail end, you're getting more of your bready notes. Um, I'm gonna kind of drop that caramel a little bit. It might be there, but it's not too intense. Um, but definitely a nice breadiness with a bit of a um, bit, bit of like hay and sort of um, hay and then then again, uh, what is it? The orange rindy sort of a uh, sort of bitterness going on in the background, which is pretty damn cool Fairly good beer so far. Let's see what the can has to say Cameron's Brewing Oakville, Ontario 12 mile India pale lager like I said 5.2% alcohols by volume 40 I B used the description Early pioneers assembled for social gatherings at the grist mill on 12 mile Creek to enjoy food drink, and tell stories of their travels and adventures. This is our inspiration for a new innovative style of style of beer that is as, as yeah, words. Come on. That is adventurous and flavorful. A unique fusion of spirited new world hops balanced with a special yeah with a special lagered yeast 
creates a cultured body with tropical fruits and citrus notes. This India Pale Lager is ideal for both for both IPA and lager aficionados. 100%. People coming from regular lagers though, like you like your macro crowd kind of thing, and just strictly lagers, might find this a little bit more intimidating in my opinion. But IPA lovers will definitely get on this and and just and just enjoy enjoy it heaps heaps amounts. But lager lovers. I can definitely see them coming into here, trying something a little bit different, but not straying too far away from uh, from, from their comfort zone. But yeah, 5.2%, uh, 40 IBUs, hops that are used are a tropical blend of Mosaic, Galaxy, and Citra, and the malts that are used are Two Row and Dextra Pills malt. Pretty damn good. Proudly brewed in Oakville, Ontario, Canada. Any other information? No ingredients, but they do list the malts and hops. Um, any brewed on date, packaged on date, best before date, not that I see. I thought, oh yeah, Cameron's does it on their, uh, 2-4 pallets. If I'm not mistaken, it's the same way they do their, um, ah, uh, what was it? Skeleton, Skeleton Brewing. Skeleton Brewing, they do their date codes on their 2-4 pallets. Um, so still you can track them. To a certain extent, when the cans are off in the wild and off their palate, then it gets a little hard, I think, in my in my opinion, to, to get it tracked. But hey, that's just me. I don't know all the nitty-gritty technical stuff of, of what goes on there, but at least their palates are numbered, which is pretty cool. But for the individual beers, I still would like to see some sort of canned on date or best before. As you saw that one did start to come out of the can a little bit, thus leading to a little bit of lesser amount of carbonation in my opinion. It does seem like it, it should be a little bit more carbonated. But it's fairly moderate body. Beautiful stuff, but it seems like it is lacking just a touch of carbonation. Moving over to the website, Cameron, Cameron'sBrewing.com. You go to the beer section and you will find 12 Mile. IPL. Does have the same description as the can. Again, also listing the same hops, malts, IBUs, and ABV. But also, you get to see the awards. And it has won a award in the 2017 World Beer Awards. It was the country winner. That's all it has to say. Pretty pretty good, though. I always like when they toot their own horn. You, you, you should. You always should toot your own horn when, um, when you are, uh, when, when, when you win stuff. Oh, wait, no, yep, 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 cool. So yeah, very short, sweet, simple, um, website, you know, looks great, good information. Not a huge, huge amount, but the stuff that you really need, but the stuff that you really want to see. Over on Untapped, 12 Mile India Pale Lager has been given a 3.64 bottle caps out of five, and that's out of 6,387 ratings, so, Fairly well liked amongst amongst many. I personally do actually, I really do enjoy this. Quite good. Also, if you want to pick up Cameron's 12 Mile Lager at your local LCBO, you're going to be spending $2.90, but as of recording, it is on sale, saving $0.25 cents for $2.65. Now, $2.90 is already a great starting point. Sub $3, and you're getting a pretty damn good beer. It's tasty. It has over 5%, even though it's only 0.2. Um, and just, I don't know, something about it. It's pretty damn good. I think, I think it is because it's, it's an IPL. So it, it's, it's, it's a lager, but it, you get flavors of an IPA, but without, sometimes IPAs can be a little heavier for some, and you're not getting that heaviness. It's more closer to a lager. It's like a 60-40 split on lager to IPA. Heaviness, which is kind of cool. I really do enjoy that. Pretty damn good beer. Has some nice lacing on the glass, but I did have that little oopsie with the with the coming out of the top a little prematurely. Um, so that, that, that's kind of a bummer, but we didn't lose any beer. So, it's all good in my opinion. With that said, guys, cheers on the final sip. Let's get ready to range and wrap this thing up. Cameron's 12 Mile Lager. Pretty damn good stuff. Really am enjoying this beer. It's uh, it, it just put a little smile on my face. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm really, really happy with this beer. Solid, 
solid 8.1 out of 10 for me. Damn good stuff. As a presentation, really do enjoy it. Great looking logo for sure. Nice information, the big long description, ABV, IBU, detailed list of malts and hops. The only thing that's not in here are really a main list of ingredients, but that's not a big deal. And the other one would be a canned on date. I know your palates are done with canned on dates, but when it gets into the wild off the palates, some people like myself might want to know what's going on. So if it was labeled on the can, that would just, that would just be the little, little, little cherry on top. As for the website, looking great, very simple, same information as the can, throwing in your awards, good stuff. Overall presentation gets a solid, hmm, yeah, gets a solid, gets a solid eight out of 10 as well. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers on a view in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you wanna go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Bruski, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's gonna do it for me, Mate Bruski, like I always say, Crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Now I've never walked 12 miles, but I would need many of these beers to get me through that dreadful hike. Oh my god, I'd rather ride a bike. Cheers.